here's how I finish up a large abstract painting. Um, in this case I'm adding my gold highlights. That particular tube of gold is pretty empty so I have to snip off the bottom and stick my palette knife right into the tube to apply the gold. You can apply the gold and then kind of scrape off the excess because I want some of the color of the blue and the white underneath to shine through the gold. By the way, this painting is completely dry. Uh, I create the piece, um, design the uh, composition, and then I leave the piece alone for at least, well, at least overnight. Sometimes it can be two weeks. And um, that's nice because the painting then is bone dry and I can go over, in this case I'm adding the white, um, to brighten up the middle section of the piece. Here I am breaking up some of the blue, painting right over the gold as well, uh, so I don't have a, just a solid chunk of color. You want some of the underneath to shine through, almost like when you're looking at a forest and uh, you see the light coming through the leaves and between the branches. Um, I'm very influenced by nature, so every time I paint, I kind of imagine that I'm looking at a forest. But here I am with a tiny little number four round brush, and I paint, 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 and paint white for a long time. And uh, you're gonna see the uh, a little clip here, there we go, where um, I didn't show you how long I painted the white for. I think you guys get the idea. This is me showing you how I flip my canvas um, to check for composition. It should be balanced actually every which way you turn your canvas. I always look to see is there enough paint in this section or in that section? Is it too heavy over here? Of course if it's too heavy I hit it with the white paint to break it up but in this case I'm just painting the bottom half find it easier to flip the canvas and then I can see where a little more white is required. White is just a beautiful highlight. Um, it can really help to make your painting pop. You want to surround, uh, black does the same thing, but I don't work a lot in black. I mostly work with white as uh, many of you know who follow me. Um, by the way, if you are enjoying this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel. It's a fairly new channel kind of new at it and uh, and let me know if it's helpful to you or what else you might like to see me work on um, and that'll help guide the uh, subsequent paintings that I intend to do. So I step back, I assess and I think it's time to put the painting back into its original orientation. Getting near the end, just the light a little bit. Painting requires a lot of stepping back and, and looking, and sometimes over days, digging back into my uh, gold, Liquitex gold, and spatuling on the sections. Um, focal point for me on this piece looks like I'm working more on the left side of the piece. Sometimes I will work to uh, add more interest on the right side this piece is on the left and then with that small brush um, that gold drives really quickly when you just lightly scrape it on so in this case you can go over the gold with some white without it smudging too much and hit 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 it's getting near the end now I, I remember feeling pretty satisfied with the piece let's break that gold up a little bit more and um, yeah we're done Now this piece is called Pause to Breathe. I love that Prussian blue. That's the really dark blue that's on there. Here's a close-up of some of the drips. That's, that's the painting. I love how it turned out. I think it's really, really uh, a, a nice statement piece for any home. Ugh, beautiful colors. Okay, I'll see you next time.